everyone knows how to make custard almost everybody knows how to make custard but of course they have their own way of how making custard and have my own way also i'm gonna show you my way how to make custard and let's share the experience all right all right this is the first step how to make a custard in my own way first of all i'm gonna put this um uh, uh pot I have to put this uh, sugar in. I have I have to make uh, caramelized first the sugar. Put into very slow temperature. There you go. I'm gonna put it into number three. All right. So um, let's leave it there until it become caramelized. All right. This is just a simple way of making it. Um, very slow temperature until the sugar, the brown sugar, is gonna get milk. Of course, what our main ingredients are, vanilla extract, I'm gonna have a medium size of the egg, right, I'm gonna take out the yellow, separate the yellow from the white one, all we need is just the yellow one. So we'll be using car uh, carnation above, fat free, any kinds of condensed milk you can use, it's low fat also. Okay, I'll use uh, 12 pieces of egg yolk I'm just gonna use that uh, yellow all right start melting start to melt I'm just gonna add a little bit of the water of water just a little probably um, just a little right. what we have to do is to start beating the egg the yellow the one can of the carnation fat free Okay, now we're going to start beating it up by using the whisk and we're going to use the condensed milk. We're going to pour it. Remember this is also fat free, low fat. Okay, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna use this pan. Uh, it's, I think it's 12 by 9. I mean 12 by 9. I think it's a 4 by 9. So the uh, the deep is probably uh, how many inches? Uh, 4, 5 inches maybe. So this is what we have to use to pour in this uh, uh, mixture and then from there we're going to oven or put it in the oven using the um, using the uh, water under okay baking the um, custard we're gonna have you're gonna have to have this uh, um, deeper uh, party trees then we're gonna put water in it and then eventually we're gonna put this on the top of it with the mixture and then we're gonna put it in the oven all right what we have to do is I turn on the um, uh, oven into 350 but I'm gonna increase this one up into uh, 400 to make it sure that we have enough uh, temperature the right temperature 400 okay the uh, sugar it's been caramelized it's enough I'm gonna turn it off now shut it off and then the caramelize is already ready I mean the sugar is already caramelized now what we have to do is to take that one out we're gonna pour it over this in here. Pour it over. Make it sure that you have enough uh, caramelized uh, sugar. See, look at that. That's what I don't want from there. In order to get the right um, caramelized, you have to uh, do the same thing, strain it. All right, using this and then we go what we have to do with this is let it cool let let it cool for um, a bit a few minutes and then we'll put this um, 
caramelized sugar in the fridge to cool down, all right? Okay, so while I am, you know, cooling down the, the uh, caramelized sugar is in the fridge, I have to put this at the same time. I have to put this in the oven. Let me put some water in it, okay? All right, so we're putting water on the tray, deeper tray. All right, so um, the caramelized has been put in the fridge. I took it out already because it's cooled down already. Now we have to put the mixture in it. All right, order to put it in. Make it sure that you have the strainer once again because we're gonna strain out the exist of the uh, of the mixture, the creamy custard, so that we'll have the cream custard in other words. So we're gonna put it in now slowly, but sure, sure. Okay, there you go. We're putting it in just to make it sure everything is fine. Almost there. See, you have that exist of the um, white thing. That's what I don't want in there. In order to get, this is the technique in order to get the creamy um, custard. Now, this is what I want to uh, you to know. Okay, there's a water under cook it all right we're gonna cover this one up with aluminum foil all right okay so we put it in already what we have to do is bake it for 45 minutes to make it sure and then we'll check it up all right but for sure it's gonna be 45 minutes if it's uh, not 45 minutes make it for one hour just to make it sure but anyway in 45 minutes we're going to check it up Oh my gosh, I almost forgot what I'm baking earlier. Anyway, it's ready. I check it up and it's everything is okay. Let's see. There you go. Our custard is ready. I have to take it out now. It's ready. Custard is ready. Let it cool for a moment. Maybe 30 minutes. Let it cool for 30 minutes. Once it's already cold, then what you have to do is flip it up and we'll see what's gonna happen, all right? Okay, our custard is ready. I'm gonna flip it up to this um, um, big uh, oval plate. There you go. I flip it up, I don't know what's happened, <laughs> but anyway, we'll see. Wowie, wowie, yummy, yummy. There you go, our custard. That's my version of custard. That's for sure very creamy. There you go. Yummy. That's my custard. All right, let's eat custard now, guys. That's my custard. Creamy and yummy.